So how do we get everything up into space? Well, we often hear about a guy named Sir Isaac Newton, and we're, we're going to talk about one of his first laws of motion. He has three, and we, we mention them all uh, uh, in various different parts, but his first law of motion is, is pretty important. Now, it states that objects at rest will stay at rest, and objects in motion will stay in motion. So what exactly does that mean? Well, I'm, I'm going to do a quick little experiment here. We have something called a hero engine, which is full of a little bit of water, and the only way out are through these two bent pipes that are sticking out on either side. I'm going to hang this up uh, like so. Now this is now an object at rest. It's just sitting here, it's not doing anything. Now I'm going to fire up my trusty blowtorch, which I always get to use pretty much every day, uh, and I'm going to try to heat the water up that's inside that sphere. And what happens when you heat water up? Most people will tell you, of course, it's going to boil. And when water boils, it produces steam. Now in this particular case, the steam only has one way to get out, and it's the pipe on, uh, on either side of our sphere. And we're also going to start to get some motion, which is that our little metal ball here is going to start to spin. And this is exactly what Isaac Newton was talking about. We had an object at rest, it just sat there, it didn't do anything, until an outside force, which in this case is the steam, starts it to spin. Now, according to Newton, this thing would continue to spin pretty much forever until it was acted upon by other outside forces. Now, I'll tell you, it's not going to spin forever, and that's because there are forces acting upon it right now. And very simply, we've got friction in the chain, which is rubbing against each other. We have gravity pulling down on it the whole time, and it has to work its way through the oxygen that's around. And eventually, it will come to a stop. Now, the really neat thing is, though, if we were out in space right now, and I started that to move out in space, we wouldn't have to worry about gravity, friction, or air resistance. This thing would continue to spin forever until possibly it got bumped into by an astronaut, a planet, or some sort of spaceship. So Newton's laws, not only do they work here on Earth, they also prove very well to work out in space. For the H.R. McMillan Space Center and for the Express, I'm Cam Cronin.